All right, everyone. Today we are doing this video in my bedroom because what had happened was I filmed this tutorial on like my professional cam, well, my Canon proper camera. I'm filming this on my G7X because wow, guys, I set up everything nicely in my filming room, filmed the tutorial only for the memory card to damn let me down. This is the second time it's done this. I don't know whether like I need to like stop and start in between like doing videos but like it's so annoying that this thing is like a higher memory card but like now there's no footage so I've got to film this again um so let's just get into it okay I've been trying out some new products from my faves Revlon um, this is the semi-permanent brow inks and I did fill in my brows on Sunday today is Tuesday and my brows are still filled in you guys I just have not worn makeup for the last couple of days so I'm just gonna touch it up where I feel I need to and oh. and we are going to keep it moving you know what I'm saying I have like black residue on my face from like the lash glue because I had semi-permanent um, eyelash extensions from Lash Life by Zoe Beauty so I had them on for like a few days oh. look at this guy here just ruining the clear skin look anyway let's get into this tutorial so I'm gonna be using everything that I used when I created this tutorial so I'm gonna start off with my Elizabeth Arden Flawless Start Hydrating Primer Well, this is the serum primer If you could just like focus There we go Can we talk about the natural light? Okay, then I'm gonna go in with the Professional Hydrating Primer. Also, my studio is a bit cold, so I cannot wait to film in summer in the studio. But as of right now, it's a bit cold in there. And I'm filming quite early, so... Yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead with the dark brown. And just sort of add a little bit of coverage. So yeah, next we're going to go into the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. This is in the shade 330. I love this foundation so much and today I'm going to be trying out the Huda Beauty Cream Contour well the Tantor I feel like I don't use the Tantor that often but I used it to create this initial look and I remembered how much I actually really really enjoy it and I'm really just loving like cream contour at the moment it's just it's a vibe Okay, usually I'd be using, can you just not overexpose me right now? Thank you. So I'm going to be using the shade 330 and just blending that into my skin. Usually I use my Fenty brush but it's in the studio and I'm already in the swing of things so might as well. Just continue. I know it's gonna look really crazy, but it does oxidize. And I really want to try out the skin tint. Have any of you tried out the skin tint? Please let me know in the comment section. Or would you guys like me to try it out? I feel like now that we're not wearing any masks. Although I feel like I'm very selective with regards to when I wear masks. So I'll wear masks 
Mm -hmm. I wear masks in certain situations. Like, if I know it's going to be a weekend and lots of people are going to be at the shops and I need to go to the shops, I'll wear a mask. But, yeah, if it's during the week and I'm wearing makeup or whatever, then I usually am not wearing a mask. But I don't trust. I don't trust the germs. Yeah, people are still catching this thing. I won't mention any names. Can you just not like overexpose me where I look like cray cray? Can, can you just like not do that? Anyway, the perks of natural light. Haha, <laughs> love that for us. Go in with my Huda Beauty Tantor in the shade Medium, which I don't really use because it's very pigmented, so I like to use it when, like, you know, like for special occasions. I am such an Indian. My gosh. Using my special things or savoring my special things for special occasions. Wow. Okay, so I'm just going to take my Sweet Beauty actual cheekbones brush and just... contour or bronze up my face whichever one I don't really like like an intense like contoured look and I'm forgetting my nose I really love the definition the contouring my nose with creams gives because it just adds a different layer of depth on the nose and my nose ends up looking like hella skinny which I really really love okay so next we're gonna go in with concealer I'm using the Tish Beauty C290 concealer I'm deviating from what I did in the last tutorial um, I did Catrice True Skin in the last tutorial so you can do whatever your heart desires I'm gonna go step by step because this concealer does set very quickly and I'm gonna be using my original beauty blender I must say I didn't think there was a hype for the original beauty blender until I tried it out and I was like wait what like it's pretty good you guys like the texture is so much different than any other sponge I've used so I get now why people don't like to deviate from the beauty blender I'm also gonna highlight down the center of my face then as you guys know it is time to bake this cake I'm using my revolution luxury banana powder mixture of banana light and banana deep and I'm just gonna bake guys baking I don't know why everybody's like oh my god baking is like this and baking is like that guys listen each to their own I know sometimes like people make us feel and I've noticed like certain like makeup artists are just like they kind of like shoot down how can I say they shoot down techniques and then it's like oh are we not supposed to be doing that right now or we feel some type of way because we do bake and we do enjoy baking so I'm here to tell you that makeup is a one size fits all however you do it is your preference at the end of the day and how you adapt your technique is your preference at the end of the day and if you want to bake bake honey because sometimes baking is the only thing that keeps our makeup intact especially for oily girls i mean you must not be oily if you are saying that baking is so old school must be nice but for some of us it's not nice okay um oh i forgot to put cream blush but it's fine we'll do it um so i'm gonna use my mama mitchell wears the spf 
gonna put some on my tile. So yeah, this is the Mama Mama Mitchell Blush in where's the FPF. This is the shade I used um, in the previous tutorial. It is very pigmented. Like very, very pigmented. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. But I love it. I love it. I didn't even put that much on and it's just like, wow. She's giving. Like she's giving sunburnt. And we're living for it. I'll mute it down a bit with like some. So I do have to say with regards to this Venti foundation as well, like things layer just very beautifully on top of this foundation. So you mean you can stick with the Fenty range of stuff, but you also don't have to stick within the Fenty range of stuff because, I mean, it does, it does the job. You know what I mean? My God. <sighs> I even had this issue when I was filming the last time. Well, it's not an issue. It's just that, you know. Okay, and then to set the face, I'm just going to be mixing these two colors together from my Pixie and Promise palette. Um, just to set my contoured areas into place. Okay, so I've already prepped my lids with um, concealer because, I mean, we really don't need any fancy eyeshadow base. We're just using natural tones on the eye. I'm going to go in with my Revlon Maverick palette and go in with this shade right here. This, like, very natural... Oh, I put that too much. Very natural-esque brown shade. And I'm just going to put that into my crease. Just dusting it, not even like having any specific placement. By the way, the blending brush I'm using is the M441 from Morphe. Honestly guys, once I started using Morphe brushes, I don't think there's any other brushes that I enjoy as much. The color brushes from this game come pretty close. But I guess I'm a Morphe girl right now. It is definitely worth the coin, okay? Okay, so once that is done, that is what the eye looks like. Then we're going to go into the original palette from Revlon. If you guys have the same shades in one palette, just use one palette. But I'm a little bit particular. So I'm going to go in with this shade right here. You guys can't really tell on camera, but it's like a creamy kind of slight shimmer shade. And I'm just going to put that on my lids and it's just so like soft and pretty and we want the focus of the eye to be on the like brown liner so let me do the other eye and I'll come back to do the brown liner okay so next we have the Revlon Colorstay line creator pencil it has well it has a cold pencil on one side and it has a long way liquid on the other side so we're gonna go in with the long way pencil I've been using this pencil quite a bit so it's a bit uh, blunt but I mean it still does the job I'm gonna go in and just line the top of my lash line and then kind of just pull it out into a winged liner and it does dry down pretty quickly so before it dries down I'm gonna get a smudge brush I'm gonna use this one this is the M508 and I'm just gonna 
mud pad. You don't really need to use a liner to set this, or a powder, sorry, to set this into place because it sets pretty well. But I like to add a little bit of depth to this smudge liner. So I'm just going to be taking this brown in the Maverick palette and just kind of setting it and blending it and adding a little bit more brown to this liner. So that's this eye. You can add a little bit more of that Maverick shade. Okay, so that's the brown liner. It's just so gorgeous and flawless and effortless. Next, I'm going to go in with the Bad Girl Bang Waterproof Mascara. This mascara, you guys. I mean, the packaging. This, like, oh, it's everything. And this mascara also is the bomb dirty. Oh, I'm not me stabbing myself. So, I think I'm just going to be wearing this mascara on its own today. I was wearing the style Coco from Sphinx Beauty when I initially created this look. So I just kind of take a spoolie and just slightly flick away any mascara that I got on the skin. Okay, so now we're going to go in with highlight and I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty um, Lightning Dust and Crystal Fire Duo. I'm just going to mix the two together and start with highlighting my nose. And then I'm also going to do a little bit on my inner tear ducts. Okay, then I'm going to be using the highlight brush. This is the 120 brush from Fenty. And it is just everything. So I wore a look that was similar to the Demologica event except I didn't put eyeshadow on I just put like a brown liner on and smudged it out and it was everything okay it was everything I'm just gonna make sure that this highlight is blending you know all that good stuff okay now for the lip combo this lip combo is everything you guys it's everything so this is the perfect precision lip liner in the shade chocolate from la girl guys this lip liner is just so good i'm actually using a new one now because Running between the beauty room and my studio or looking for it in my handbag because I put it in my handbag is just a lot. So now I have a secondary one that's always going to be close by. I tried it out for the first time in the video that I filmed which went to scrap because my camera well I'm gonna say it's the memory card that just didn't that just formatted the content so annoying so anywho I was trying it out for the first time in that video and I just I was obsessed the slippy is gorgeous so this lippy is the shade 65 Seductress from Maybelline. And it's just everything, you guys. Just look at that color. 
It is so pretty. And you could definitely like make it a summer wearable color. I'm just gonna use my finger to put it in. Okay everyone, so this is the finished look. I'm gonna go ahead with my Revolution Spot Fix setting spray. Which one did I use? I don't remember which one I used when I first found this, but this one is here close to me, so I'm just gonna use this today. Okay everyone, so this is the finished look. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. Like I said, the lashes that I used with this look in the original video that I filmed was the Coco Lashes by Sphinx Beauty. I kind of want to put them on right now, but then I kind of... Who's messaging me? I kind of want to like put lashes on with this look. Oh, should we do it? I am so extra. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put it on off of camera just so that I can look fabulous the whole day So yeah, you guys that is it for this look. I really hope you guys have enjoyed Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and all that good stuff Please especially give it a thumbs up because this is the second time I had to film this look Let me know in the comment section if you guys love it. Somebody put eyes. I got a pimple there. Just ignore it We're gonna pretend like it's not there right now um, But yeah, that is it for this video. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to slay all day every day with and without makeup and i'll talk to you guys in the next one bye bye oh i got lost on the way